I'm not going to replay the uh, yesterday, uh, August 20th, 2024. Oh, look at that. A bad hair day. It's, uh, it's covered up. Cover it up. Hide the bad hair day so you can't see I have bad hair. Uh, hey, uh, Finkel here. Um, thought I'd uh, give you an update. By the way, the update is at 9.55 a.m. Eastern Time on the 21st. I'm time releasing this for a time later today to be determined. Obviously, there's going to be more uh, votes. Well, hopefully. And I shouldn't say obviously. Hopefully, there's more votes. Last time I looked at the video yesterday, it had 180 one uh, views. Uh, so far, there's only like 24 votes. Uh, but hey, it's young. It's early. Uh, first of all, I want to point out a huge mistake I made. Uh, confused a lot of people. I said Monday, September 3rd. I'm an idiot. Um, I can't read a friggin' calendar. September 3rd is Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> So because I said Monday and I said September 3rd, people are confused about the deadline. Hey, you got almost two weeks either way. Uh, get those votes in. Uh, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to a, the uh, most recent live stream. Um, and I'll point that out here in a minute. Uh, but first, let's get to the current results as of early this morning. I'm not sure what time I checked, but I checked this morning. Uh, made some coffee, had some breakfast, did some other things that I shouldn't do. And uh, so the numbers you're about to see are as of maybe an hour or two, maybe 8, 7, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. I'm not sure what time I checked. Uh, but I'll check as close to daily as I can and add the tally. Uh, let us share the current results. Uh, share screen, share screen. We're going to go by entire screen. It's been a minute since I used Excel on the regular, so I kind of struggled with this. Uh, we have, oh, let me uh, let me blow that up, uh, make it a little bit bigger for you. Full screen layout. Uh, does that help? Okay. Uh, the pie chart, no really reason for it. Uh, the math is simple enough. You don't need pretty colors, but people like pretty colors. I also tried the bar chart but I couldn't figure out in Excel how to make each bar a different color. Uh, so this is nice and rainbowy. And uh, this isn't in order. Uh, I think it's, I think it's sorted alphabetically. F G H I. Yeah, this is alphabetically. Okay. Not by points, but by alphabetically. Coming in with four votes so far is Find, Fix, Finish Productions. Uh, coming in with one vote uh, is generally, I'm sorry, is for public safety. Coming in with one vote is generally specific. Coming in with five votes is hot mess summer. Coming in with six votes is I Izzy. Coming in with one vote is killing time passing through. Coming in with one vote is master sergeant retired. Now I huddled with some trusted advisors uh, and judges surveyed. Uh, we I thought, should I count mesh or retard with fine, fix, finish? And someone reminded me that uh, even though mesh or retard has a show on fine, fix, finish, uh, he uh, did point out uh, uh, that he's not a member of the team. He just happens to have a show once a week. Uh, Throat Punch Thursday, which I, by the way, I highly recommend Throat Punch Thursday, whether he does it on fine, fix, finish, or he does it on his own channel. Great show. Uh, he's got one vote. Neve, and I apologize, Neve, I actually forgot you existed. You are my subscription list, and I have seen you on uh, a couple of panels. Uh, Neve has one vote. Old Guy Mitch, DAC, has one vote. The Raging Tomato has one vote. Vegas Vips has one vote. And Money420 has one vote. Now, I have to apologize, Um for a while there, the 420 confused me. I confused Money 420 with Mirrors 420. Mirrors 420 has zero votes. I'm not even sure. Does Mirrors have a channel? I don't know. Uh, he's more trollish than content producing. But uh, again, it's uh, F3, uh, 4, uh, for Public Safety, 1, Gender Specific, 1, Hot Mess Summer, 5, Izzy, 6, which is in the lead. Don't get too excited. Uh, 
it's only the what 24 less than 24 hours into a two-week competition uh killing time passing through is one mass sergeant retired is one neve i hope i'm pronouncing it right nev n-e-v-e is one old guy mitch uh d-a-c is one raging tomato tomato uh who is an expert at building things with ikea uh, just playing uh is one we got kind of a running joke there going about ikea ikea gives me rage uh, vegas vips has one and money money 420 has one and uh because they're on the board, I will plug them a little bit. I'm going to pause this recording and get ready to switch uh, screens. Uh, uh, at the stage, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, the uh, coming in at four votes so far. I'm going to kind of plug. Oh, by the way, um, how do I articulate this? Uh, there are. Channels that I'm friendly with, channels that I'm not friendly with, channels that I have been friendly with and I'm not so friendly with now. Uh, yeah, you may be very aware that there are some members of the F3 team uh, that I am at odds with, but that's okay. Fair is fair, and if it's unfair, hey, it's my game, my rules, my money. Um, <clears throat> but there, there will be, <laughs> I'm sure there will be accusations. Uh, these folks do have four. Um, this originally was Stoned Vet. Uh, a couple months ago, they transitioned to the uh, fi Fine Fix Finish Productions, and uh, now they uh, they do, well, there's the G-Boys, uh, there's Master Sergeant Retired, and there's Stone Vet himself. Uh, Master Sergeant Retired does a great show. Uh, uh, usually he hosts a veteran, and usually they uh, point out some flaws with the uh, either veterans who embellish their service or non-veterans who pretend to be ver veterans. Uh, their live streams are, well, the G-Boys mostly dunk, laugh with, laugh, laugh at other uh, <clears throat> other uh, channels. Uh, now, um, I don't remember which one. Very recently, i kind of surprised. Uh, very recently, yes, they, they like to dunk on me. Yay, it's all about me. Um, a very recent, well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Master Retired show, excellent show. Uh, Stone Vet, uh, he's recently doing a 1980s review. And there's Dirty Hippie, uh, pretty cool dude. Now, uh, I don't remember if it was this one or this one. One of the G-Boy ones, it kind of, kind of surprised me. <clears throat> Uh, they've been very adamant uh, about a guy who shared things that maybe he shouldn't have shared. Okay, he shouldn't have shared them, let's be honest. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> they spent several, several minutes. Uh, there was a guy out there who uh, <clears throat> he videoed himself, <clears throat> apparently, while I was on the toilet. <laughs> Dumb move. Uh, what was his name? Michael White. Okay. He's videoing himself on the toilet, but you can only see waist up. Uh, so you don't really know that he's on the toilet. He's doing his thing and his phone slips like this. <laughs> but it, very quickly, and he brings it back up. Uh, now the poor fool, he, uh, he didn't mean to transmit that. Um, whereas the other case apparently was intentional. But uh, in Michael White's case, it was like, oops, oops. And apparently he didn't bother to edit it or retake it without the oops, oops, while he's sitting on the toilet. Pants around the ankles, the whole nine yards. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, these guys <laughs> tried very hard to focus on the part where the camera's pointing down. You could see his naked legs. You could see his pants around his ankles. And they were like very desperately trying to pause and focus on that part. I don't know. Everyone's going to do what they want to do. Uh, you, you do it your way, but it's kind of weird that they complain about one guy sending his stuff and they're trying to get another guy's stuff. Very hard. Very, very hard. Very. No, I don't mean erect. I mean, they, the effort was great. Slowing it down, pausing it. Um, yeah. Hey, Mr. White, if you're out there, <laughs> learn to edit. I, I think he was the same guy who had the really nasty background. All right. I'm, I'm going on and on and on. Okay. Let's get on. That was four votes. Uh, by the way, I believe <clears throat> there's a couple teams uh, uh, on, on Fine Fix Finish. Uh, Stone Vet and Dirty Hippie, they
they joke about, I don't know if their cause is to raise money for their, their weed. Uh, the G boys, uh, uh, Jeff has many times claimed that that's his job. Uh, so that's his income. Uh, so I, I encourage you to keep voting for these guys. And of course, Master Sergeant retired. Uh, he does the veterans thing. I don't know how they distribute funds. I don't care, but um, that's a fine fix finish in a nutshell. Uh, and they do other stuff too. I like it when they dunk on me. It's kind of funny. Uh, but uh, coming at one vote is uh, for public safety. Let me see if I get his tag right. Uh, let's go back to the boob tube and for public safety. There you are. That's Chris. Uh, Chris, uh, he is, uh, I don't know what you call him, an activist. He's not really a First Amendment auditor, but he does things that's often confuse with First Amendment auditing. Uh, he's got one vote so far, and uh, he, uh, what is he, he, he basically, well, for the most part, he does stuff uh, like uh, FOIA requests and records requests on himself, um, and sometimes when people react, he, he goes back for more information in the First Amendment audit uh, 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 method, uh, but most of the stuff starts when he's just documenting himself doing his thing, and I'll bet he's got a lot of legal fees because there's assholes out there like J.J. Scarborough who will make some shit up, even though he's probably never going to get uh, convicted in a jury uh, trial. Uh, J.J. Scarborough's uh, method is to bog him down with legal fees and time away from his real life work. So he, he could probably use the money. Um, so a little plug out there for Mr. Safety. Uh, generally specific. Uh, coming in at one vote. Where are you, General? Okay, there you are. Let me go back to YouTube. All right. Uh, generally specific, also known as Todd. Uh, he does have a su couple sub channels, uh, but his main channel, his monetized channel, is um, he hosts panels and he, uh, he he dunks on people. He read he dunks on people who dunk on him. Uh, he's kind of kind of embarrassment to the veteran community because he will state something that he's actually experienced. And then later on when he states the same thing, he kind of forgets details. And it's the little details like, wait a minute, didn't you say he does that a lot? Uh, but he is opining that this is his job. Uh, uh, I'm not dunking on it if it's your job, uh, but apparently he needs the money. So let's keep those votes in coming for. So far I've mentioned uh, fine fix finish. I mentioned uh, for public safety, and now I've mentioned uh, generally specific. Uh, they all have reasons uh, for their uh, their their needs or desires if they even want uh, want to win. Now they might not even know. They might not even. I, I so far you see generally specific for public safety. Uh, for public safety notes, he was in the in the chat yesterday. I don't even know if fine fix finish knows that they're in a competition, uh, but they have gotten four votes so far. Okay, who is next? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, we have Miss Hot Miss Summer. I'm sorry, Mrs. She is uh, married last. Uh, Hot Miss Summer. Uh, she has a lot of fun on YouTube, but her primary mission for being monetized is um, Wednesday night outreach. She actually goes out in the streets of, where is it, guys? Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Say, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. See, I, I ain't too bright. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, and uh, she helps people who are homeless or, or down and out. Uh, 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 she raises money to get things like tents, sleeping bags, food. Um, and, and she literally goes out there and helps homeless people every Wednesday. She has some other things too, but her primary purpose for raising money is, so I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for her too, because her proceeds go directly to helping people who need it, people out there in the streets, people like uh, the gentleman I saw yesterday when I was picking up my dry cleaning. So I am I am rooting for Miss Hot Mess Summer. Actually, I'm rooting for all of them so far. Who's next? I Izzy at six votes. I Izzy. You may know I Izzy if you follow F3. Uh, she is introduced to YouTube on F3, and uh, she's got her own channel now. It's not monetized, but uh, she was on the panel yesterday, and here she is. Hi, Izzy. 
I Izzy is a uh, interpreter was was an interpreter in Iraq as an Iraqi uh, citizen at the time when the all the propaganda in Iraq was anti-American. They're coming to kill you. They're coming to steal your oil. Uh, meanwhile, the true assholes were the Saddam Hussein regime. Uh, well, she went way out on a limb, risked everything, uh, risked family ties, risked uh, community ties, just went completely out there and helped the Americans, helped us in, in our cause. When I say us, I mean Americans. I, I was not in Iraq. Uh, but um, uh, because uh, the unit that she worked with interpreting uh, included people like um, Stone Vet and Dirty Hippie, uh, I'm really bad at names. There's other. Oh, actually, later on in life, when she got her citizenship uh, in America, uh, she married one of the guys in that unit. Um, uh, she opined yesterday, and I, I, I tend to believe her. Uh, I have no reason to doubt her. I consider a trusted source. <laughs> uh, she opined yesterday uh, that uh, if she wins, and she's ahead by one point so far, it's early yet. Uh, that uh, she would use the money to uh, help uh, public school children. I don't know if it was lunches and breakfasts, helping them uh, get get food, or maybe it was school supplies. Uh, not really sure, uh, but definitely. Oh, and also uh, she's in the process of uh, writing a book about her life. Very interesting story. Uh, I would suggest go to about two months ago and find Fixed Finish. Uh, there's some videos there about her. Uh, and more recently on her own channel, at I-Izzy. Uh, by the way, only 255 subscribers. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Okay, uh, that's I-Izzy. Who's currently in the lead? Don't get too excited. There are still people in Chicago stuffing ballots into suitcases. And if you got that, you're uh, your old geezer like me. If you didn't get that... Uh, there have been accusations of a Kennedy-Nixon election uh, where uh, allegedly uh, suitcases were uh, were stuffed with uh, ballots. I don't know if it's uh, tinfoil hat stuff or what, uh, but uh, coming in at one point is killing time passing through. Now, full disclosure, uh, killing time passing through is a part of the FMAC team which is separate from the channel I'm posting on this, but separate but the same. So uh, I got a biased hope that he'll win. Uh, I have no idea what he would do with the money. Uh, he does. He did. Oh, he currently has no content. He did have content. He's got a great morning vote. He used to do our morning show when we tried to do the 24-7 thing. We failed, but something tells me he's at no risk of winning uh, one point. Um and uh, coming in, also in at one point is uh, at money 718, but he shows up as um, money, uh, money 420. Let me, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I haven't followed him as much as I should, but money 420. I, early on, I've confused him with uh, mirrors 420. You know, you see the M, you see the 420, you read fast and you're an old geezer like me uh, so i actually confuse these two for the same person apparently they're not the same person except the 420 obviously means um well you all know what 420 is uh and uh i didn't see him opine uh what he would do with the money but the vote i got him got for him literally said and i'm not oh he's got a cash up so this you know, if he if he would win somehow uh, he would get a higher percentage because uh, he probably wouldn't want a super chat. I don't think he's monetized. No, he's not monetized. Okay. He does have content. I am familiar with him. So he did qualify uh, at one vote. I don't know if he'll win, but the vote literally opined that he needs the money. Uh, I'm, I'm all about people who need money, getting money. Uh, MSG retired. Uh, we already, already mentioned that, I think. Uh, MSG retired, Master Sergeant um, retired, uh, at MSG retired. Uh, this is where the Throat Punch Thursday show originated. Uh, lately, it's been over at, uh, oh, we did a show of Izzy. Okay. 
this community is kind of small. We all interlink. We're, we're uh, the, yeah, interconnectivity of life. Uh, he and Izzy, I mean, he was at Iraq at a different time as the other F3 uh, folks, uh, but apparently he did a show with Izzy. I think I watched, yeah, I did watch part of this. Obviously, if there's a red line, I watched it or at least left it on while I did other things. But yeah, uh, this, okay, I, yeah, I remember this. Uh, but yeah, he, he occasionally uh, dunks on people who are dunk worthy. Oh, Todd. <laughs> uh, but he, he originally was doing the throw punch Thursday, which is now over on the um, on the F3 channel on well, on Thursdays. Uh, and what he does with the money, I'm not sure. I think he helps the veterans or maybe uh, nurtures his motorcycle. By the way, 388 Racing is also a uh, master sergeant retired. Uh, Neva, Neva Liar or Neve. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize. I, I, I've watched your show. I've been, I think I've super chatted your show. I forgot, uh, uh, about her existence, but when I got to vote in, I was reminded, uh, she has been on Raging Tomato. I believe the vinyl community, uh, Rachel's ghost, uh, but she did get one vote. I'm not sure what she would do with the money, but you know, people are voting for her. I hope, I hope, hope all of these. People, I hope there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a thirteen-way tie. I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be a very small uh, amount. Old guy Mitch, uh, old guy Mitch, sixty-five DAC. By the way, when you see DAC. Uh, they are usually referring to Donald Atwater Cameron Jr. Uh, Donald Atwater Cameron Jr. was a, a medically retired, uh, medically disabled uh, Marine um, who in the Christmas season of 2009 was murdered. And all evidence known points to one guy. <clears throat> Yeah, we won't go into that because, you know, December 24th is coming. But anyway, old guy Mitch, uh, DAC, he does have content. He loves to, his shtick is he dunks on people with their own words. If, if, if you're out there and you're insulting and dunking on people, he will show up and dunk on you, kind of showing you what a hypocrite you are. <laughs> He's done it to me. Yes, we all can be hypocritical. Uh, but old guy Mitch, I... I, now, now I'm thinking about it. We're counting these separately because the votes are coming in separately. There's no team votes. Uh, but I think Old Guy Mitch, uh, uh, Fact the Madness, uh, Jerry, and Izzy, uh, jokingly or seriously, I don't know which, called themselves the, the Brown team. Because uh, we were kind of laughing at someone calling a couple of them black supremacists. <laughs> uh, but I believe, in fact, it was his idea that uh, the winner should uh, send the money to a school lunch program for underprivileged kids who might not have enough money for school lunches. Um, and I, I think it would be really cool if, if, if whoever wins, that's where the money goes to. Uh, who is next? Uh, the Raging Tomato. Uh, I'm surprised only one one vote for her so far. Uh, of course, now that I think about it, um, as far as panels go, uh, two of my favorite channels are, yeah, I'd like to vote for myself or FMAC. I, I can't because uh, the Raging Tomato does it very, uh, she's very good at it. Um, she, uh, I, haven't heard, I haven't heard of her being aware of this contest. By the way, if you made the board, uh, I'm going to tag you in this premiere I don't know what time I'm going to race at 5 p.m. or something, so that uh, these people who made the board will know that you know they can run for it. Uh, and uh, those who got one or two, uh, well, there's no twos. Those of you who got one just barely made the board. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm not even sure she she hasn't been on uh, one day ago, two days ago. Yeah, she hasn't been on since this came out. So she may not be aware, but at least one of her audience members is aware because I got one vote for her. Uh, her shtick, and because I haven't heard her opine, I, I would imagine that she would use the proceeds for what her channel is for. And what her channel is for, it's monetized. It's not her job. 
but she has a family member with some medical situations. Uh, and I, I believe, I could be wrong, that insurance and employment covers the medical aspect. But because that person in her life, uh, she wants them to have a better quality of life outside of the medical stuff. Um, and if she wants to, uh, let her get into it. Uh, that's, that's about as far as I go. But her funds are raised to um, to give that person in her life a better quality of life, more uh, uh, you know, nicer stuff, uh, uh, trips to uh, cultural events. Um, I, I, I have no idea, really. But uh, to me, it seems like a good cause. So I'm rooting for Raging Tomato. One, because I think she has a good cause. And two, because I think she hosts great panels. Uh, there's another one, uh, Based Oracle. I haven't seen any votes for Based Oracle yet. Uh, let me check. Nope, he's not on the list. Okay, and finally, coming in at one vote is Vegas VIPs. Uh, okay, uh, it's my game, my rules. Uh, if he wins, he will get the money. Coming in at one vote in the first day, I don't think he's going to win, but he needs the money. Yes, he, he comes from a family of wealth, uh, according to him, uh, but he uh, he goes out there, uh, you know, with the camera and... Uh, he has to pay extras to chase him with tasers for excitement. And those extras can't be cheap. So he, he, he needs to win because uh, his wealthy family won't give him the money to hire those people. So uh, definitely. Okay, that was in sarcasm. Uh, uh, let me go back over the list. Uh, coming in at third place, Fine Fix Finished Productions. Not very happy with them. I don't think they're very happy with me, but if they win... They'll get it. I'm rooting for you. For public safety, like the guy, he sometimes can be annoying because he talks a lot, but uh, he's only got one vote. No chance of winning uh, unless, unless something happens in the next two weeks, uh, but I'm rooting for him. Generally specific, that's his job, rooting for him. Hot Mess Summer, she actually uses her, uh, her YouTube money to help people. Rooting for you. She's coming in right now second. Uh, is he coming in first? I'm rooting for her. Well, one, she's got a great story. And two, I think she's opining that if she wins, the money's going towards uh, underprivileged kids in public schools. Killing time passing through, one vote, probably no chance. I'm rooting for you because you're on my team. You'll probably spend the money on better equipment for our FMAC channel, right? Right? Right, Killing? Okay. Uh, maybe not. Uh, money, uh, 420, I understand uh, he needs the money. Uh, Master Aren't Retired, Neve, Old Guy Mitch, uh, all at one vote, uh, uh, like them, uh, kind of hope they get it. Old Guy Mitch actually had the idea for uh, uh, helping public school kids underprivileged. Uh, the Raging Tomato, I like her cause, uh, you know, helping out a family member, and I like her panels. And by the way, he's not on the board yet, but I'm also rooting for uh, Based Oracle. I know my teammate over at FMAC, he's a little angry at base, but I'm, I'm rooting for you. And Vegas Phipps at one point. Uh, now, we're 31 minutes into it, and I totally forgot. Did I already cover that I screwed up the date? I said Monday, the September the 3rd. I'm going to correct myself. It is Tuesday, September the 3rd, because I can't read a calendar. I'm a geezer. Um, Monday is September 2nd. So it's 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, September 3rd. And if I screwed up the day again, the date is September 3rd. Uh, if you want to know more details about the rules, uh, go to yesterday's, uh, currently the most recent, but it, it maybe we'll do more lives. I don't know. Uh, currently the most, uh, Finkel's $500 sweepstakes. And the rules are long and drawn out in the in the video uh, it's a one one hour one hour video okay and they're also posted here with the only screw up is uh monday september 3rd oops it's um it's actually uh tuesday september 3rd so probably sometime september 4th wednesday i'll announce the final results uh results i will uh now let me see uh that reminds me, 181 views. Okay, 181 views, 21 votes. The views, 
are much, much more than the votes. So I encourage you vote early. Don't vote often. Uh, that's uh, just not how we do it. In fact, if I identify you as someone who's voting twice, I will disqualify both votes. Uh, but so far, no one's been disqualified. One was on the border, but I don't think that one has any chance of winning. So I'm at least going to mention them. And if we, if I have to do a recount and consider, was that a dual vote? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, we'll establish that. But I, I, at this point, I don't think he has any chance of winning. Meanwhile, if you're down in Georgia, passing around thumb drives, uh, good luck. If you're in Chicago, filling up a ballots and suitcases. I get the joke, but the truth is we're not taking paper ballots. We're taking email ballots. Um, and uh, 34 minutes. I've gone on too long. I don't even know my own team's uh, schedule, but right now it is 1028 a.m. on the 21st, and I will premiere release this later sometime today when I confirm there's no, uh, no team activity planned or other other shows that I want to watch. Uh, the premiere, I probably won't be watching the chat. I'm just doing premiere to get max exposure. And by the way, if you made the board, I'm going to at mention you. If you didn't make the board, you can vote for yourself. You can plug your audiences. I encourage you to plug your audiences to vote for you. Uh, what I want to see is an email identifying who the email is coming from, a YouTube personality. It doesn't have to be a channel. The voter is a YouTube personality, and the person or the channel that you're voting for, I want that channel. And the channel's got to be one that I've interacted with uh, uh, in the last six months. And your YouTube account that you're 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 sending the vote as uh, has to be older than six months old. And if I identify you as voting twice, both votes get canceled. That hasn't happened yet. Um, of course, I don't know all the socks in all the world. Uh, all the socks and all the joints. Uh, yeah, had to meet you here. <laughs> uh, but by the way, the yeah, as expect. I mean, expected. We thought that the Vegas Vips vote was going to be a Vegas Vips socks. I can assure you, it's not a Vegas Vips sock. Uh, it does qualify as a vote for Vegas Vips. Who else can I dunk on? Who else can I uh, make fun of? Who else can I root for? Basically, I'm rooting for all. The, the, the nutshell of it is, uh, I'm reminded yesterday that there are people out there who need real help, who have no means or very little means. And this $500 will be my last $500 through YouTube uh, publicly. Um, you can watch yesterday's video and you can, oh man, he's good looking with those pink glasses. Uh, those, are, uh, those are Randy Rainbow uh, fake glasses. Uh, oh, here they are. <clears throat> Uh, basically, Randy Rainbow's stick is if, if he's interviewing somebody in one of his fake interviews and he thinks they're full of shit, he says, cut the crap, like his grandma did. She'd pull the glasses down and her nose, look over the top of the glasses and say, cut the crap, or sometimes cut the shit. Anyway, uh, 36 minutes. I'm out. Have a glorious day. I'm going to end recording now. <laughs>